PSG traveling to take on RB Leipzig and, and the list of uh, casualties and injuries and players missing is, is a long one. Mbappe, Neymar, Verratti, Paredes, Icardi, none of them available. Uh, what sort of PSG are gonna, team are going to be out in the field in Leipzig and uh, can they get the job done against a team who, let's face it, are hurting after losing uh, so badly to Manchester United? Well, they will have to, uh, to do the job because um, they are in a situation where um, losing against Leipzig will put them in, uh, in, uh, in, in big troubles. Uh, many players are injured. Uh, they all have contracted the, the COVID and they came back maybe too, too, uh, too early, not being completely or fully ready to, uh, to play 90 minutes. And again, 90 minutes uh, three days after and they, they all got uh, little by little injured. And, um, and Tourelle as a group, a reduced group, but group of qualities. And if you put, see the name that, uh, that can be on the field tomorrow, it's possible to do something against Leipzig. But you will need to be uh, warriors, you need to be uh, all, working all together, and it's going to be possible because the talented players are still there. You know, I think about Keane at front, who's on fire, but also Marquinhos in the middle of the park. Of course, the goalkeeper, Navas, Kipembe, uh, who has been very, very good for, for, since the beginning of the season. So they have a, a virtual column who, uh, who can lead the, the, the Paris Saint Germain to, uh, to win tomorrow, but they will have to fight together, which is the main problem for Paris Saint Germain. Ali, uh, you may recall, this is a repeat of uh, last year's semi-final. It feels like it was just a couple of months ago. It wasn't just a couple of months ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Uh, well, can, well, PSG will be going some to repeat that result, won't they? Yeah, I don't know that they're looking to repeat that result. And I think, obviously, the personality of the team is going to be totally different. And to be quite honest with you, when I look at PSG and they like to play and they like to flow with the ball and dribbling and passing and Neymar looping the ball over people's head and everything is pretty and everything is delicious and gorgeous. Well, here's the thing. In order for PSG to be successful against Leipzig tomorrow, it's not about how pretty it is. It's about how effective it is, how efficient it is. And most of all, how much are they working for each other? And so can the can can they as a group show us something that they don't always show us that indeed they're together and it's not about the individuality but it is indeed about the group effort and so yeah sometimes you're just gonna have to defend and you're gonna have to absorb some pressure and you're gonna have to embrace the struggle of having to play a defensive game that may just be ugly but guess what if it is ugly it is playing to your advantage you don't want Leipzig to be running freely with the ball you don't want wide open spaces, you don't want transition, you want this game to be ugly, to be in the middle of midfield, maybe you get a set piece, maybe you win a one nothing. In fact, I think PSG at this point, they'll take a draw, and hopefully by the time they play against Leipzig again, everybody will be back, and then they'll go for the win at home. Mm. Well, we will review just how they got on on tomorrow's edition of ESPN FC, PSG in action, also the likes of Manchester United, Barcelona, and Juventus, a full review right here. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.